want changing prices with these fries. When some people found out that Wendy's was considering what they thought was surge pricing, they became hot under the collar, giving it a frosty reception. And we're not talking the drink. Wendy's tried to clarify, saying it was using dynamic pricing, not surge pricing. Here's the deal. Surge pricing uses real-time supply and demand data only to raise prices. Anybody who's tried to use a ride share during peak times or book a hotel when rooms are in short supply has encountered surge pricing. In a statement, Wendy says they'll use artificial intelligence algorithms to create dynamic prices, meaning when there's not a lot of demand for burgers and fries, it'll use AI to figure out when to lower those prices and keep selling as much product as possible to fewer people. Is this a new practice? Nope. A lot of other fast food chains already do dynamic pricing, offering promotions during slow parts of the day, or perks offering lower prices if you order via online on the app. Dynamic pricing isn't going away. In fact, it'll become more ubiquitous. The best advice we could offer, take advantage of those slow times and off-peak hours and make them work for you. With us, Consumer Quickie, I'm Steve Sprager.